What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy Tyshawn back for another video, man. Now, I'm mad as hell because I had already made a video talking about this, but the video got deleted, so so I'm going to make another video. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, apparently, um, there's a guy by the... You know what? Let me go ahead and make it more professional. Let me take... Go ahead and set, the, set this up a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? So I can really get my thoughts. You know what I'm talking about? Hold on now. Hold on now. There we go. All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can see me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you know, so this this is a remake of the last video I made. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm mad that I'm talking about the same stuff over again. But apparently, uh, there's a guy by the name of George Floyd who stays in Minneapolis, right? Uh, apparently, the police got called on him because he was apparently supposedly writing a fake check and stuff like that. You know, fake check to purchase his items. And I don't know what event led to what event led to another, but but eventually, we all seen the video of him on the, on the ground and a white cop had his knee on his neck. A white Caucasian cop had a knee on his neck, and the reason why I put a lot of emphasis on a white Caucasian cop because normally when you watch these videos, it's always a white Caucasian cop. You never see these videos of a person that's non-white doing this stuff. It's always a person who's white Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I put a lot of emphasis on white Caucasian cop. So white Caucasian cop put his knee on his neck and <laughs> through the course of the video, the dude's saying, I can't breathe. Hey man, you know, I can't breathe. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't breathe. You know, you know, uh, I'm gonna die. You know, please, please just let me up. Stuff like that. And the, and the cops just still got his knee on him. And mind you, the dude's in handcuffs as well. That's something that I forgot to say in the last video. The dude wasn't handcuffed. The dude had his hand. The dude's hands was cuffed, so the dude couldn't move. And the dude had his his knee on his neck, applying full pressure on his neck. You know what I'm saying? Basically suffocating this guy to death. And my question is, if the guy's already restrained, what is the need to um put your knee on his neck? Okay. And mind you, this video, like, like I'm, I'm kind of more calmer because the last video I had got all the energy out. So like, the reason why, like, I'm not like super fierce is because you know I had already made a video before, got all the energy out, and now it's kind of, now it's, it's kind of late at night. So like, you know, you know, the energy went from here to like, kind of like right here. So that's why I'm not like fierce. The last video is more fierce. This one, I'm, I'm more calmer. But <sighs> it sucks because the last video was more powerful than this one. God damn. But it's late at night. I can't really be yelling, oh, motherfucker. So I'm just, I'm just on, you know, I'm just on some chill, mellow stuff. Anyways, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, had, had his knee on his neck. Dude was gasping for air. Stuff like that. Eventually, dude died. Dude passed away, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And I just want to just give my little opinions on the situation. First and foremost, this is what, this is the cop's job. The cops' job is to do stuff like this. If you look up the origin of the police officers, first known police officers were called the Slave Patrol. They were called the Slave Patrol, and they their job was to keep black slaves in line. Their job was to keep black slaves in line. The first known police force was called the Slave Patrol. So when you see cops brutalizing black people, that was their job all to begin with. And, and that been going on since slavery. That been, that's been their job. That's been their job, okay? That has been their job. So don't be like, oh, that's not what the cops should be doing. That's been their job. <laughs> that's been their job, man. So you really can't get mad at it. But it's still fucked up. But that's their job, though. That, that's been their job. You know what I'm saying? To do shit like that. What another thing, man? What else is pissing me off? Um, another thing. Um, uh, you know what? Okay, all oh, 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 right, y'all. Now, now the emotion's coming back. The emotion's coming back. So now this video might get more fierce. All right, another thing. Um, protesting and marching is not gonna get the shit done. Okay, it's not going to get the shit done, okay? It's not going to get the job done, all right? All this protesting, we shall overcome, we shall stand, blah, blah. It's not going to do shit. It's not going to do shit, okay? That's not going to do shit. We've been doing this for years and the shit's still going on. The same shit that I'm talking about now has been going on before I was even here. Fuck all this protest. It's not going to do shit. The last time protests worked was during the fucking civil rights movement. Which that was good, by the way, because it worked. But it's not working now. 
<laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Yes, it worked that one time. It's not working now. Fuck protesting. Protest is not going to get the job done. It's not going to get the job done. It's not going to get the job done. Okay? So, fuck protesting. Fuck marching. Another thing for all these Christians out here. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something about God, all right? Because uh, a lot of Christians be like, oh, you know, we should pray about this. You know, we should pray to Jesus about this. And listen, all that praying is not going to work. All that praying is not going to work. It's not going to work. Has it worked yet, Christians? Has it worked yet? No, no, it has not worked. It has not worked. Now, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? I am not undermining God's power. But when you read the Bible, the Bible clearly states Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. What does that mean? That means that if you pray about something and you don't do nothing, it's not going to fucking work. Okay? So fuck all that praying shit. And all you're doing is praying, but you're sitting your ass on the couch every day not doing shit. It's not going to fucking work. Okay? It's not going to fucking work. And it sucks that I live in an apartment and I can't yell, like, you know, because right now, I feel like yelling like a motherfucker, but I can't do that because I stay in the apartment. So, so, so the energy is, it ha has been leveled. The energy, the energy has been leveled, it's been brought down. It's not going to fucking work. You got to do something. Yes, you can pray to God, ask him for advice, but once God gives you that advice, you got to go do it. Because if not, it's not going to fucking work. Praying is not going to work unless you do something along with that praying. So, yes, pray about something and then go do something along with the praying. You can't just pray about some shit and then not do nothing. You got to pray and then do some shit. Okay? Another thing. Another, see, uh, see, a lot of people have a big misconception about the Bible. They think the Bible is all peace and love, peace and harmony. Oh, positive, po happiness, 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 happiness. Which, which, that's the big part of the Bible. But the Bible has, the Bible has a lot of bloodshed. <laughs> the Bible has a lot of man downs. A, a lot of it. If you read the Bible, it's been plenty of times where God, you know, because a lot of times, you know, these Christians be like, oh, you know, peace, 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 peace and love, peace and love. But man, fuck peace and love. Fuck peace and love. Fuck peace and love. If you read the Bible, it's been plenty of times, plenty of times. Go read the Old Testament. Plenty of times where God orchestrated the tribe of Israel to go kill some people for doing some fuck shit. The Philistines, the tribe of Canaan, uh, Canaan, Canaan and some shit, Canaan, whatever. It, it's been plenty of times where God told the tribe of Israel to go kill, to go kill some other tribe for doing some fuck shit. <laughs> plenty of times. Go, go read the Old Testament. Trust me. Listen, I've read the entire Old Testament. It's been plenty of times where God told the tribe of Israel to kill some people for doing some fuck shit. And God himself in the Bible kills plenty of people as well with the flood. God flooded the earth, killed a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. God rained down fireballs and, and, and destroyed the whole city. So I think God, so I think, you know, to my knowledge, I think God is pro-violence. I think our God is pro-violence. I, I, I think God supports violence. I think, I think God supports violence. Of course, not random acts of violence. Of course, not random acts of violence where, you know, where you're killing somebody for no reason. But I think God supports violence. I think he does. It's been plenty of times in the Bible where violence has happened. Plenty of times where violence, where violent stuff has occurred. I think God is pro-violence. Don't you think, guys? Because I think so. So y'all critics out here be like, oh, God would want us to be peaceful and just pray for the enemy. Man, fuck all that shit. Bitch, man, fuck all that praying shit, man, man, fuck all that praying, man, it's not gonna fucking work, <laughs> it hasn't worked yet, it hasn't worked, it has not worked, it hasn't worked, it has not worked, oh my gosh, listen, I support any bad person, you know what, matter of fact, yes, we, we should pray for the enemy, okay? And hopefully they change. But if not, okay, but if not, niggas gotta die. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, matter of fact, I'll take it back. Okay, we we should pray for the enemy. But but if if they don't change, nigga, you gotta die. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be peaceful while you trying to kill me. Oh fuck all that nigga. If you trying to kill me, I'm not trying to be peaceful with you, motherfucker. Fuck that. I'm tired of this peaceful shit, dog. Like, fuck all this peace. We, we, nigga, we been peaceful. 
You know what I'm saying? Black people have, have has been marching for years. Peaceful marches. And the shit still goes on. It's not working. Fuck peace. Peace has not worked. So yes, pray for the enemy. But if, but if they still do the same shit again, you got to blow their fucking dome off. Okay? So let's go back to what I talked about before. Now let's go to my next thing. I, these cops got to die. Fuck all this peaceful shit. Fuck being peaceful. Fuck, you know, fuck being peaceful. Fuck being nice and polite. You know, pray for them. But if if they do, if if they decide to keep doing it, blow their fucking domes off. Blow their fucking domes off. I don't give a fuck about none of that praying shit. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, no. Listen, praying. No, listen, because, you know, I pray. But I'm saying that you got to faith without works is dead, bro. So all, the, all this praying shit is not going to fucking work unless you take action. Pray for the enemy. But if they decide not to change, then blow their fucking domes off. Because, yeah, there are people out here who have done some crazy ass shit and changed their life. And that's a good thing. That You know, that's a blessing. But... A lot of people ain't gonna change. So the ones not gonna change, you gotta blow their fucking shit off. So that goes to my next talk, talk, uh, talking point. These cops gotta die, bro. They gotta fucking die. Okay. Fuck all this praying shit. Fuck all this not doing nothing shit. Fuck all this sitting back on your ass talking about this shit. Fuck all that marching shit. Fuck all that. And anybody who has a problem with the, these cops dying, probably support them because they piece of shit just like them. Okay. Because, because they're pieces of shit just like them. Another thing, you know, you're also a bad cop if you sit there and watch the shit happen. In the video, you have this bald-headed Asian fuck watching his fucking partner do this shit, and he's not, and, and he's not stopping it. He's over here trying to get all big and tough, trying to get all big and tough with the pedestrians, but is not trying to get big and tough with his partner who's killing that innocent black man for no fucking reason. So if you're if you're not a good cop if you allow this stuff to happen. If you allow this stuff to happen, okay? For example, let's say if I see some man raping a four-year-old girl, right? And I just walk by it. La 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 la, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I'm not as bad as the man raping that little girl, but I'm like one step below as bad as him for not doing nothing about it. Doesn't that make you question my morals if I see that and I do nothing about it? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm not as bad as him because, I, because I'm not the one raping that little girl, but I'm like one step below as bad as him for not, for not doing nothing to stop it. For not, doing something, for not doing something to stop him from doing that. I'm one step below as bad as him for not trying to do something to stop that. The same thing, the same thing when it goes for bullying. You know, like... If you're a person that laughs at laughs at somebody else getting bullied, yeah, you're you're not as bad as the bully, but you're guilty, you know, somewhat for laughing at that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're part of the problem, even though you're not part of the problem. But you're part of the problem because you didn't do nothing about it. So yeah, so you're a uh, <laughs> you're a bad cop if you don't do nothing about the shit. Okay, so that Asian cop is so, somewhat guilty for, for fucking watching that shit. Just as much as the cop that was doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? Not to the same degree because he didn't kill the cop. But him watching, he he needs to be held accountable too. So fuck him too. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm tired of shit, dog. This goes on all the time in America, man. It goes on all the time in America. You know what I'm saying? And, and this, this is probably the last cop video that I'm going to talk about because the same thing I'm saying is nothing new. The, you know, the same stuff I'm talking about. People have been saying this stuff for years now. So I'm not going to keep on rehashing the same talking points. And besides, this channel is supposed to be a comedy channel. So me talking about this stuff kind of doesn't fit my niche on YouTube when it comes to comedy and stuff like that. This does not fit my niche. But I feel like I had to talk about it because it's fucked up, man. The same thing happened to him. Ha happened to that dude in New York. What's his name? Eric Garner. Dude said, I can't breathe. Can't breathe. Cops still fucking choking his ass and shit, man. These cops don't give a fuck about you, bro. They don't give a fuck about you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Another video I've seen on the internet today, actually. A motherfucker, like, uh, motherfucker black dude, in, black dude in his car chilling, not doing shit. A white cop, white cop, pulls up on him, tells him to leave. The black guy says, black dude says, why do I have to leave? 
blah, 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 you know, you know, like they go back and forth for a little argument. And the white cop pulls out a gun on him and then tells the comrades, hey, he got a gun, he got a gun. Black dude's like, what gun? What gun? So so right when right, right when that white cop said that, black dude put his hands out the window, said, hey, listen, there's no gun in here. You're lying. You're lying. There's no gun in here. There's no gun in here. You're lying. Stuff like that. You know, and the whole time, white dude got a gun on him and shit, trying to lie. And, 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 and there's, there's no reason for the guy to pull out the gun. There, there's, no, there's no reason for the white cop to pull out that gun. He just did it for, for, for some unknown reason. Black dude didn't threaten him. Black guy didn't reach for nothing. Black dude had his hands recording his stupid ass. And then they're going to pull out a fucking gun. So, I mean, what else, man? Um, what, what else, man? Uh, yeah, so dude going to pull out a gun and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stuff like that, and, and and then the cop gonna tell him, hey man, hey hey, t hey, turn your car off. You're under arrest. And black dude said, hey, listen, you know I ain't dumb, you know, cause hold, mind you, the whole time this guy's hands is out the window. He said, hey, listen, I ain't dumb, I ain't dumb. I know that you want me to reach my hands back in the car, turn the car off, so you can shoot me and say, oh well, oh yeah, he he tried to reach for a gun. And so the black dude had some intelligence. He was smart. That's exactly what the cop wanted him to do. So he had his hands out saying, hey, listen, there, there's no gun in here. The white cop told him, hey, turn your car off because, you know, because the guy's car was still on. You know, so the cop said, hey, turn your car off. Black dude like, hey, no, I ain't going to do that because I know for a fact that once I, re once I reach my hand back into the car, you're going to try to shoot me. And then say, oh, yeah, you know, he tried to reach for a gun. So dude was smart. He, he was smart. So, you know, shit like that. So, you know, black dude asked one of the other cops to come and turn the car off for him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And another video I seen today, you know, you know, motherfucking cops, cops pulled up on a black dude because he fucking ran, because he fucking ran a fucking stop sign, pulled up on him with fucking guns because he ran a stop sign. Okay. Pulled up on him with guns, guns drawn out, pulled up on him in his yard. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Gun, th three, four cops, guns drawn out, pointed at him, shit like that, because he fucking ran a fucking stop sign. What kind of shit is that, dude? What kind of shit is that for fucking running a stop sign, bro? For running a stop sign. You want to put pull pull out guns on him for what? For running a stop sign. Then, then the dude's grandma came out, you know, to try to protect her grandson and the cops ran over there and fucking pushed the grandma on the ground. She old as hell with a cane and shit and, and they push on her. Man, it's like, man. And another video I seen in a while, like, like a couple weeks ago, this fucking 13, 13, 14 year old kid, which reminds you, the 14 year old kid did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the, but the cop was fucking hitting the kid in the fucking face and shit. Okay, yeah, the kid did something wrong, but, but you're bigger. And mind you, this little 14 year old kid was little as hell, like a stick. Like this, that cop did not need to fucking hit, you know, be fucking hitting the kids in the fucking face and shit. But man, it's like these cops don't give a fuck about people no, nowadays no more, bro. They don't, they don't have compassion. You know, they don't have compassion. All right, they don't have compassion. So if they don't have compassion, okay, us as black folks, we don't need to have compassion. And the white media is gonna be like, oh, black folks, you guys need to be peaceful. You guys, need, man, fuck peaceful. That shit, that shit has not been fucking working. It has not been working. Fuck being peaceful. It has not been working. It's not hasn't been working. So fuck being peaceful. It has not been fucking working. So like I said, bloodshed needs to occur. Bloodshed. Death. 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 You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. Fuck marching. Fuck praying. Unless you're going to pray and do something. Unless you're going to have God give you some advice. And after you, after you get that advice, you do something with the advice. So fuck marching, fuck praying without works. Fuck just recording videos because recording videos ain't doing shit. These nigga, listen, we record videos and shit, and these cops still get away free because 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 the justice system is racist. Because the justice system is not in black folks' favor. So we so we can still record the shit and they still get away. Another thing, we still record it and the cops still do fuck shit. We still record it and the cops don't give a fuck. They still do it anyways. Now some back off, but some, but a lot of them still do it anyway. A lot, but but they still do shit anyway. Have, so of course, recording's not working. We need to take action to our own hands. We cannot keep doing the same shit over and over again, bro. We cannot keep doing this shit over and over again, bro. It is, it's, it's getting old at this point, man. It's getting old at this point, bro. <laughs> and lastly, gangs, 
to the real street niggas. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Like it, you know, like it just fathoms me how you guys are so quick to shoot someone else that's black, but y'all don't shoot the police at all. You guys are so quick to shoot another black man, but y'all don't shoot the police at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, listen, like, listen, like I, I lived in the hood for like five years. You know what I'm saying? I lived around the whole gang shit, all that shit. Listen, I can go to the hood right now, say some shit, you know, drop some shit, throw some shit up. And I promise you, you know, th there's a high chance that I might get shot for doing some shit like that. You know, I can go to, you know, Inglewood and fucking, uh, where, uh, where else is like a hood in Chicago, man? Inglewood and goddamn fucking, hey man, what the fuck these places names, man? Old Block, fucking, uh, St. Lawrence, 76th Street. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. And I go over there and throw some shit up or drop some shit. Nigga, they gonna blast my ass, nigga. With no, with no hesitation. No hesitation. And that's by me just talking to them. That's by me just, just saying shit. But a cop go over there. A white cop go over there. Say shit. Do shit. Beat, beat, beat you up. Kill you. And y'all do nothing about that. Y'all be so quick to go slide on, slide on the ops. To go slide on the ops and kill their ass. But y'all gonna kill the police ass. Y'all be so quick to go slide on the ops. You know, you know, you know the BDs be, be quick be quick to slide on the BDKs. The GDKs be so quick to slide on the BDs. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't slide on the police stuff. Police kill your brother, y'all don't y'all don't shit about it. But the ops kill your brother and y'all be on his ass in like four seconds. Y'all be on his ass. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill his ass, I'm gonna kill him. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. But but a cop do it, y'all don't do shit about it. And why is that? Well, you know, if I kill the cop, man, you know, I can go to jail. You dumb fuck. If you kill anybody, you'll go to jail. How many of y'all have killed black people and gone to jail? If you kill anyone, you'll go to jail. But yet, you still kill black people anyways because you just want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you just because you just because you just want to do it. Oh well, you know, if I kill the police, you know, you, you know, like if I if I try to shoot the cop, they can shoot at me. If you shoot it, how many of y'all how many of y'all have gotten into shootouts and y'all have gotten shot at? And, and, and y'all have gotten shot or shot at. There's no difference here. Only difference is, is one person got a badge, other person don't got a badge. That's the only difference. Because if you if you shoot a cop, you go to jail. If you shoot a black person, you go to jail. If you, um, you know, shoot at a, if you shoot at a black gang, you know what I'm saying, you can get shot at. If you shoot the police, you can get shot at. It's the same exact shit, man. The same... It, so man, listen, man, listen, bro. Bloodshed needs bloodshed needs to happen. We gotta stop marching, stop recording, stop talking about it like like what I'm doing right now, cause I'm I'm just talking about it. Stop talking about it. So stop doing this. Stop doing this shit right now. And, and we gotta take action to our own hands, bro. We gotta take because none of this shit that we've been doing has not been fucking working. Okay, it has not been working. It has not been working, bro. We have to take action. We have to we have to start putting these niggas six feet in the dirt. And not all cops. Just crooked cops, crooked cops. Not all cops, because because you know there's there's cops out here that's doing good things. Not every single cop, not every person with a blue uniform. That's the one that's on some fuck shit, killing black people for no fucking reason. Niggas gotta fucking die, okay? And and it makes no sense how like you know, in the video that I watched, there's like two cops in the video and nobody done nothing about it. No one done anything. No one didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Now I can understand if like. You know, there's like 50, like 50 cops with assault rifles, tanks, choppers, you know, you know, shit like that. And it's like, oh, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're outmatched. But when it's a big group of people and there's only two fucking cops, man, somebody could have did something, man. Y'all could have ran in there, bam, not like, you know, knocked his ass out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, it, like, like y'all, y'all could have ran up and did something, guys. Like, y'all could have ran up and did something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, like me personally, if I was there, I don't think I could have watched that drag on for so long. Maybe, you know, maybe, you know, I could have watched it for like two minutes to try to talk to the cops. But if they were listening, then I, pro I probably would have ran there and fucking sock one of their ass. I'm sorry. It, it makes no sense how we don't do, how we don't do nothing about this shit. We just watch the shit happen. We just watch it. <laughs> and the same shit goes on over and over and over again. Black person gets murdered. We, we record it. Don't do shit about it. Put on the internet. Talk about it for a little bit. It dies down. Happens again. Fuck all this talking shit, dude. We gotta take action. To, we gotta take action to our own hands.
You know what I'm saying? Because I know one thing, if my family or friends was getting fucking killed by the police, I'm not going to sit there and watch. I'm not going to sit there and watch. If, if, if there's a way for me to jump in, I'm going to jump in. Fuck that. You know, if, if, if my brother, you know what I'm saying, brother or best friends or whoever else was getting their ass whooped by the fucking cops, I'm not going to fucking watch it. I'm, or getting it murdered by the cops, I'm not gonna fucking watch and put on my fucking phone. That's the last thing that I want that that I want to fucking do. I would try to kill a motherfucker. You're not going to kill my fucking family member or friend, and I'm watching this shit. <laughs> Man, people. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, man, like, I, I, man, I see plenty of videos like that, man. Cop fucking kill somebody, and and niggas just watch the shit. A lot of times, these deaths happen in the hood, and, and everybody got a gun in the hood. All them gang niggas got guns in the hood, but when it happens, nobody pulls that bitch out and pops their ass. They just watch the shit happen. Hey, man, get up off him, man. Hey, man, get off him, bro. Hey, get up off and, But don't do shit. Oh, man. You know what, man? You know... I'm not Superman, I'm not Batman, I'm not Goku off Dragon Ball Z, you know, I'm a human being, but you know what, me being a human being with, with limitations, I cannot watch this shit keep happening, bro, you know what I'm saying, I know me for, me, and I remind you, I'm not trying to speak this into existence and have to kill a cop, because listen, you know, I'm not a murderer, you know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to kill nobody, but nigga, if it, if, in, but nigga, if I had to do it to protect myself or someone else who ain't who's innocent, motherfucker, pfft, so what? Especially a black person. Hey, you know what? Hey, I might do it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It reminds you, like I said, not trying to speak into existence, and I ain't a murderer. You know what I'm saying? I don't like blood and killing people and death and shit like that. But hey, if it comes down to it, fuck it. These, these niggas don't care about killing black folks. So why should I care about not having to kill their ass? They have no compassion. So why should I have compassion? They don't have morals. So why should I have morals? You know what I'm saying? Let's fight fire with fire. Fuck it. Because they going to keep doing this shit. We finna keep marching. And, and they going to do the same shit again tomorrow. So you know what? That's all I got to say, man. Fuck the police. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who does not support this video, fuck y'all, cause y'all, cause you guys are pieces of shit for for saying that's cool, and then saying oh, and, and then saying oh, you guys gotta be peaceful. So fuck y'all if y'all think if, if you think black folks need to be peaceful, fuck you for, for saying that stupid shit. Fuck Christians that that just pray all day and don't do shit. Fuck people that want to protest and don't do shit. Thumbs up to the people who say, let's fucking blow their fucking brains out. Because that's what needs to happen. Th thumbs up to the people who, who says, hey, let, let's let's blow their fucking brains on the fucking pavement. That's, hey, you know what I'm saying? Whether, okay, another last thing. Whether or not, okay, whether or not you decide to use non-lethal or lethal force, that's on you. Whether or not you decide to pop them in the fucking thigh or pop them in the fucking brain, that's on you. I support both. That's all I gotta say, bro. Fuck the police. They can suck a dick and die. You know what I'm saying? Any cop, any crooked cop today that died can rest in piss. Not not rest in peace. Rest in piss. Rest in piss. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say, dog. You know what I'm saying? For, for, you know, for all the bad cops who who uh did some fuck shit and changed. You know, good, good for you. Thanks for changing. But the ones who say, oh, yeah, I ain't going to change, fuck y'all. And y'all need to get y'all fucking brains blown the fuck out. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out of here.